uh, hey there let's hear the testimony of Wes Hall a legendary fast bowler for the West Indies who grew up in the least luxurious of situations in Barbados now 81 years old like this was 2 years ago he was 81 years old uh, the ICC cricket hall of famer reflects on his journey so i'm going to share the testimony as he has shared to a to some sports journal our home was full of love but had not even one of the modern conveniences my hope as an 8 year old was that cricket would give me an outlet to experience a better quality of life my goal was to one day play in the west indies team my dad had a low paying job and my mother worked more than one job to help to try to help provide my mother was a re- remarkable woman of faith and values i really looked up to her when i was young i was religious but it wasn't until much later when i understood that i could accept christ as my savior and experience a significant spiritual relationship with god later on as a politician i found myself responding harshly to a reporter on a television program my mother saw this on television and reacted with a reprimand you didn't act like the kind of son i brought up she said That kind of honest loving talk from my mother has always been helpful and appreciated. Her influence and discipline helped shape who I am today. As a West Indies player, I wanted to respect our opponents as competitors and not as the enemy. My international test cricket career got off to a good start ag- against India. I especially enjoyed two seasons playing in Australia in the Sheffield Shield for Queensland. My test cricket hat-trick against Pakistan was the first for a West Indies player. In a famous test match I bowled the final over in the tied test against Australia one of only two such ties in the test cricket history and in a in a test at Los Lords the western cricketers almanac wrote uh, possessing a long hostile run up to the wicket with an equally long follow through hall bowled as though he meant to take a wicket with every delivery nobody will ever f- forget his famous last day in the test at lords when he bowled on and on hour after hour but it wasn't until after my playing career that i turned to christ as lord asking him to forgive my sins and be my personal savior that's when my new life began i wasted some of the best years of my life not following him it has been wonderful in the years since to grow as a follower of christ to serve many cricketers and the west indies team One of the most special times was when Malcolm Marshall another of our West Indies famous fast bowlers in the last month of his life entered into a conversation with me about his eternal life and I had the joy of introducing Malcolm to his life changing pers- personal faith it's a joy to know the lord personally and save serve others uh wes his favorite verse is uh, philippians 3:8 what is more I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord for whose sake I have lost all things I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ well, we we see a honest mother exhorting her son uh when she sees a uh, a behavior which is not Christ like and uh, uh like he he mentions that he has wasted many years not knowing God and Uh, then coming into god but the wonderful thing i see in this testimony like he shares his uh, christ to people and he shares about uh, malcolm marshall who is another famous west indies fast bowler in the last uh, month of his his life he he gave uh, he has heard the gospel from west hall and he has given his life to christ uh, for eternal life and heaven what a one what a wonderful testimony sharing the gospel and bringing people to christ wow praise god